Oh, hello again, party people. So, uh, we're doing we're doing this we're doing this tonight. Uh, I forgot to mention it before, but um, this this was the plan: knock out all the easy platinums, get a little bit caught up, and you know try some of these games that are supposed to be easy, but you know I heard they're enjoyable. Uh, so this is a uh, FMV. Um, it's a full motion video, just like the caption says. An eccentric murder mystery. I haven't played this yet. I have no idea what's going on in it. All I know is there's some Uncle Marcus here. But um, who pressed mute on him? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what that means. Was he on a video chat or something? Alright, here we go. Boy, it was interactive. I'm, fam I'm familiar with them. Got the sake again. Streamer mode needs to be on. It's sometimes large. Subtitle sub background. Sure, whatever. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, here we go. Depictions of blood. It's been an interesting few days, guys, since I started trophy hunting again. Hi, Mom. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday, and we do it every year. And I realize that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now, and I make my own choices. And I should be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Interesting relationship. Hi, Uncle Marcus. I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case, and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the we hate Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Business? Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, uh, of course. Anything, you know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a prank, right? I wish. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. I, I don't, I don't understand. I've been poisoned. Abby hmm. dying, and it was someone at the family meeting. Family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But they did. But can't they treat you? Can't they? They don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but. They can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. Hard living. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's why I need your help, Abby. I need you to find out who did this. Tonight. Me? No, I I can't. I mean how? <laughs> the quiz. Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if what if they find out what I'm doing? What what will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? <laughs> Let me ask you a question, kid. Why are you working in law? Because because mom, the family, they 
decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family, and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family like I did. Interesting. Well, you didn't shake them off too well. One of them's trying to kill you. Mom's calling me. Don't answer it. Uh, I guess. Come on, Abby. Ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. So here's a stream room pausing. Um, uh, I would imagine don't answer is it. See, was that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business, and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they, would, they would never. You don't know that, Abby, but I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography and this family. So you can pause it. Um, what am I looking at here? Oh, these are characters. We'll take a sneak peek on one. Who's, uh, who's this? Who's that? Who's this? She's a little bit older. She did it. What am I looking at? It said piece of evidence found or something. Accused when you haven't found enough evidence. Okay. understand why there always has to be this big song and dance about Flick's birthday. This isn't just about me, June. It's about us, the family, spending quality time together. And I'm sorry we don't do the same thing. Hi. Oh, Abby. Is that the big entrance you made us sit around for? Sorry, Mum. Right. Now we're all here together. Is there something everyone would like to say to me? Considering the dates. Well, we're all here, aren't we? What more do you want? A bloody parade? I want to pull some fireworks out of my asshole. I thought you'd be thanking me, June. Perfect excuse for a drink. What's your reason every other day? You girls are as bad as each other. Pull your camera down, down. That better? Perfect, Mummy. I think. We should all sing Mom happy birthday. Oh, Lottie, don't be so crass. Happy birthday is so bloody depressing. I don't even like the phrase. Do you know what they say in the past? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Annette. Sorry. Isn't that delightful? Ah, uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Now listen, I actually think the birthdays are a really good time to do a little bit of a privilege audit, you know? Really take a look. And that's why they invented the mute button. So, where's Bradley? That's where the title comes from, I guess. Bradley, Her Royal Highness Auntie Felicity requests your presence. So do you want to get your pallid features in front of a webcam? Oh, nice for you to dress up for the occasion, Bradley. Who oh, don't we want to wish your auntie sorry, Natsuri? I uh, don't know what that is. 
but I mean, if this is about your birthday... If you I'm say not... one syllable about birthdays, just being a day closer to death, I will mute you like I muted you. Yeah, but that's what birthdays are, though. Signposts point you towards the grave, you know? <laughs> Let's get on with the quiz. Hasn't anyone got something nice to say? Uh, happy birthday, Mum. What? Oh, Abby. <laughs> Completely forgotten you were there. Anyway, now, down to the first order of business. Whose wow. turn is it to ask the first round of questions? Well, fine, well, we'll have to pick someone. Who hasn't done one recently? Me. Not you. Hey, Abby. Come talk to me a second. Boy, they can't even pretend to like each other for five minutes, can they? I really don't think I could do this. Look, it's only asking questions. You know them. You just need to figure out how to get them talking. And start simple. Just go back in there and see if you can figure out whose round is first. It's just like gathering evidence. Just give it a shot. There's something off about this. Okay. Look, I'm sorry, okay? This part of East Africa, it's amazing, but 4G isn't a strong point. But all I'm saying is I might cut in and out. Well, I'm not going first. It's my birthday. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is... I'll be speaking with Lottie, Toby. If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? I speak to Lottie. I mean, she looks like the most fun, that's what I'm saying. happened at the meeting. Oh, babe, too much. Babe. You had to be there. Well, can you tell me what I missed? You know what? I think I'm just going to tell Mum I'm going to go first. If she has to wait any longer for this quiz to start, I think she might actually have like a genuine form breakdown. See you back in there, babe. Well, that was something. Oh, that was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah, that wasn't so good. Maybe try something different next time, but that's okay. You learn from it, right? Come on. Hey, come on. The quiz is about to start. Here we go. Yes, but Lottie, this is my birthday. No, and the questions are for you. They're just about me. I want to play an actual quiz, Lottie. Not spend my evening blowing smoke up your arse. It'll be so good, I promise. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Family game night. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or... 
avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do. I sure do. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. You getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. I'm playing with mum. Oh, so you want to be in the team with me? Well, at least you're not June. Did you like the present I got you? Mm, remind me? The earrings? Oh, yes, that's right. You think they suit me, do you? Well, I don't think you look great in anything. Okay, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favorite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? I mean, I don't it's some sort of bizarre vegetation. Is it trendy to eat an edge? Tell the answer. Do I think I know the answer. It's a keto ke ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl. That's not a meal. It's a collection of noises. Oh, I know, but I'm pretty sure it's what Lottie will say. Okay. okay. So the dish is called Humility. It's a specially prepared hemp and tofu bowl served with quinoa. That's not food, it's just syllables. Well, at least we got a point for it. Who bothered to brush your hair today? I think so. Question two. I've worked with some of the best cutting edge and underground designers in the world. Like Jani O, Hieronymus Gosh, Jesus Christ, the Dongle Brothers. But who is my style icon? Oh, hang on, I know this. It's me. Lottie says it all the time. We met for brunch a few months ago, and when I got to the table, she just looked at me and went, iconic. Yeah, she said that to me a few times, too. Well, you're her style icon. I'm that hard to believe. No, um... It's she brutal. She said that about you to me. Oh, yes, that makes more sense. I'll just answer the question, shall I? Oh, hang on, though. I know Lottie wouldn't make this the question if she wasn't the answer. Hmm. So, the answer is obviously me. So predictable. I'm just like, why follow anyone else's vibe? I'm just so unique. Why not channel that into my style, you know? When did unique become synonymous with up your own arse? Um, just talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry, I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. See why you should get to escape it. The one consolation, Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero worshipped about that ever since you've got it. It's awful. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of the fouls of the candles right onto me. Christ knows what sand it was going to be. Cherry and toilet dust, spelled by something. And Marcus's jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face. Second time he had flames behind him as well. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him to actually put out the flames. Of course. And Marcus started shouting about Auntie June burning his hand. And Lottie came in with an old wet rag, which she said was cold and started rubbing it on the burn. Then your nan found a first aid box and started trying to dress them. Bradley came in with, well, with pills, except with painkillers. Do you trust anything Bradley did? Mmm, I've got it. Okay, the internet loves me for my eyes and my unique style, but which of my special talents has recently got them? It was only a matter of time before she brought up singing. I, I think that she might mean something else. She can't do anything else. Well, 
she posted this video last week of her doing like this viral dance. Um, it was called the shaker. You basically just shake your, you know. <laughs> Guess. Don't worry, mum. Loads, loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family. Wait, wait, wait. Am I picking what, which one I want to talk about? I want to talk about the shaker. Just pick an answer. Okay, I'll go with the shaker. The answer is singing. Ah. Uh, uh, on my channel with a girl who plays dubstep on the harp. So epic. Sorry, mum. Well, it's hard when there's more than one talent to choose from. Wouldn't have that problem with you, would we, Abby? Mm. Slim pickings there. Question four. Wow. How many dance championships have I won as a kid? Thought she loves herself. <laughs> where she gets dance championships. Lottie only danced between ten and fourteen, and there was a dance competition every was it every four months. And Lottie would never ask this question if she ever lost the competition. So four years. A dance competition every four months, 12 months in a year, and... Oh, shit, in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot the numbers. Let's go with 12. Is it... 12? Just be quick about it. The answer is an unbelievable 12 wins. My coach begged me to keep dancing. He'd never seen anyone like me. But, like, I think I made the right call leaving to find a new challenge. New challenge? She broke a toe through a massive hissy fit and quit. Someone else can go now. I'm getting, like, really low on my social battery. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, um... Interesting. Mom, I wanted to ask you a question. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. It's not the exact gun. It's the same make of the gun. Right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own. <laughs> Mom's pretty tricky to talk to, but you did good, kid. I also have some new oh, news that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's take a look at what we have. Hmm. Oh, so this is just the beginning. That's why it's not complete. Yeah, our signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Can I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold, Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true. That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only care about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone players' tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, but some of this tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have aged. What are we planning? I shall perform a recognizable melody, and you must simply tell me the name of the piece, or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So we're playing name that tune. Yes, if you like. Fancy being with me, June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini. Millicent millipede, multiply majestically. Millicent millipede, multiply majestically. Uh, uh, mm. It's 
play Vladi. Again. Hey babe. Hi Lottie, you okay? Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. I don't know if I should wear Vermillion or Cerulean. I'd wear Vermillion, 100%. You would? I'll wear Cerulean. Thanks babe. Everyone listening? Wow. Fugue in D minor. Oh, easy. She's actually good. Yes, that was quite an easy one. Fast cut fugue in D minor. <laughs> How did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at the meeting. It's like, oh, hi. The sisters? She did? <laughs> yeah. She said something about it helping her gird her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments. Yes. What happened at the meeting? Oh, too much, babe. Second piece. La, 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 Chopin, la, military Oh, really? Did did Mum play that at the uh, meeting too? Uh, yeah, yeah. She's hiding something. Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby, did you just mute me? Uh, no. Something, uh, I think somebody no, just. Me, no, yeah, I know. No one. Um, <laughs> sorry. The answer I was looking for there was Chopin and his military polonaise. Abby, I'm very surprised you knew that. You're getting some help from something. Don't tell her I told you the answer. Would be. But you did. I'll know do the whatever answer. Lottie says. Tell her I told you, okay? Um, just a lucky guess, Mum. Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. <laughs> oh my god! Did you do that? No, I think she's pressed something. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I'm putting this on. <laughs> Who did this? Uh-oh. Speaker! Mom, I, I think you put a filter on accidentally. Is it weak, wasn't it? She got weak at me all day. That was Mozart's Rondo Alatok. I need a moment to consider my next piece. This is it's really great, Lottie. I had no idea that you knew so much about classical music. Oh yeah, I love it, hon. Love it. That last one used to be my ringtone when I was a kid. I just like listened to it over and over and over. What do you mean what by that? What are you talking about? <laughs> I've got an app on my phone, babe. It's recognizing all the songs for us. No one uses their brains anymore. Obviously. <gasps> well, let's not waste wow. any more time. Oh, oh, Christ, I think I strained something. Oh, you, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice, not even a mild twinge. Someone else can do their rant now. So, Lottie, I need to ask you something. Uh -huh. Gotta go, babe. Bye. Okay. Fabulous birthday so far, Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. My favorite. <laughs> That must be the killer. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous. They no, told me Abby. to stop or, or. 
Oh my god, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! What, Marcus? Oh. Are you okay? Must be some poison. Getting worse, Ab. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. The only only chance I got. Please, Abby. Please. I feel like that's a song somewhere. Yeah. What he just said. I have nothing on anyone. I don't understand. Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie? Please. Ew! No! Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you said worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up! You, you ever speak to my daughter like that again oh, and I'll... I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop! I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, for the sake of another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand wow. some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, just give me a chance, and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, the only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Who's Nan again? Um. Hmm. Oh, thank goodness. I've got oh. a clever one on my team. You're the clever one now. Don't be daft. Okay, everyone concentrating, yeah? This is... It's a little bit different to your typical quiz round. I like to call these empathy exercises. Now, I'll give you a scenario, and you have to relate to that scenario with empathy. Huh? Sounds simple, right? Well, I don't know what he's on about. Great, let's go. Now, imagine you're very poor. You're 12 years old, and you're getting up before sunrise because you have to walk eight miles to get to school going on? Who's walking to school? And, and how far did he say? Eight miles? Well, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. Uh, um, to Toby's not talking about anyone real. It's uh, a hypothetical situation. Well, it doesn't sound funny to me. What? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> hypothetical, it means made up oh right so what's the question i don't know <laughs> now picture this halfway along this poor child's exhausting journey he finds an old woman in the road trapped under a dead horse do you stop to help her knowing that to do so will cost you a day's education an education that is your only way out of poverty. Well, I don't know what he's on about. Anyway, are you all right, love? You seem a bit on edge tonight. Did you get those raspberry tarts I made? Your mother said I couldn't post food, but I bloody well did. I, I, I don't trust her. I got them. It was so nice. Good. I thought they were pretty good myself. I'm, I'm fine, Nan. Just... I've got a lot on. Uh, with work, I mean, that's all. Nothing to worry about. There is actually no correct answer to that dilemma. And do you know why? Because that's real life, guys. There are no easy answers in life. You know, our privilege, it insulates us from so much... Toby, this is a load of old shit. Just ask a bloody question. Oh dear, it's all kicking off again. You know, I should have known that an exercise like this would be a waste of time on this family. No emotional intelligence at all. You should all be ashamed. Well, someone else do their round, so Toby will shut up. No, that's not fair. 
I want to do a round. No. But it's my turn. No. Oh, well, that's a shame. Speak again, love. Nan, wait a second. I, I need to tell you something. I knew there was something wrong. What on earth is it? Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. Bad? Well, what do you mean? Someone's hurt him. Someone's... Oh, Abby, tried love. To... He's not going on about that again, is he? About what? That bloke he said was threatening him. Well, it was a few years ago now. Marcus had a bit of trouble with an old business partner. Marcus thought he was trying to kill him. What? In the right state over it. Said the bloke was threatening him, sending him violent emails. Well, of course, the emails were anonymous, so any bloody one could have been sending them. Apparently, he didn't leave his house for months. He was absolutely convinced someone was trying to kill him. Nothing happened, of course. If you ask me, he made the whole thing up. He has got a very active imagination, after all. I can't believe he never told you. You're very close, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I wonder why he kept it from you. Abby? No, I, I'm fine, honestly. Thank, thank you for telling me. Are you going to be all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Right, then. See you for the next round. Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please. Please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't going to follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby. It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's trying to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. But how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! Trust me, or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never gonna know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Is this a yes or no question? I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like not enough information has been gathered. You know what? My gut says to trust him, but for the sake of this video, we're not going to trust him. I just don't know what to believe. Believe me, Abby. Please. I can't. Abby, don't do this. I'm sorry. Abby, wait! Is that it? That's enough. It's breaking my heart that none of us could be there with him. <laughs> Why does anyone who thinks it's pretty weird that we let her come here after everything she said? We've spoken about this. Abby didn't take Marcus's death very well. She's apologized for the accusations she made. Accusations? She went psycho. That's enough, Bradley. 
is not very bad. Part of me wishes I had killed him. Oh, come on. Stop pretending. You all hated him just as much as I did. You can't tell me you're not just the tiniest bit relieved to see him in a box. June, that is no way to speak of the dead. We all know that Marcus was not the nicest man, but has he not suffered enough? I wouldn't be surprised if all that anger that he had inside is what drove him to an early grave. So sad. I still think it's weird she's here. Well, at least she bothered to turn up, which is more than we can say for your brother. Where is he, anyway? I don't know. I do not care. Sorry for what I said. Uncle Marcus's death is hitting really hard. I know that none of you would try to kill him. Unfortunately for you, Abby, apologies only get you so far. Even shows the coffin going into the fire. <sighs> Shit, you. Right, I've paid my respects. I'm going. <laughs> I've got to get back to work. <clears throat> Abby, love, I. I'll give you a moment alone. Wow, um, that was interesting. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it goes that much longer. I heard it's like 40 minutes for one playthrough. That's that's what an overhyped gamer said. But I obviously did not watch the walkthrough of it because I wanted to experience this for the first time. And uh, it was okay. I mean, like, this isn't the best one I've seen in terms of FMVs. But, like, it, it was pretty good. It wasn't horrible. Um, I I question the cast choices is the main thing I question. Uh, I'm not. I don't think the casting was. I don't know. I didn't like um Abby. I I, I don't know. It's just I don't know. I didn't think she made a good protagonist. No, oh, this is what I think. What do I know? I only have almost thirteen hundred and fifty platinums. What do I know? It's 1,350 games at least that I played and own. Assuming it's digital, but yeah. Can I skip this? Do I get a trophy? I have evidence. I have like no evidence. This I wonder how long the full playthrough goes. Uh, how? You know what I mean. Delete progress. Why would I do that? Oh, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're talking about. We're pressing mute on, on each other or whatever. Alright guys, um, sorry that was so uneventful. Truthfully, I'm falling asleep a little bit because it's so damn hot and fucking... You know what I mean. Fucking life right it's all about life isn't it all right guys thanks for watching take care of yourselves and each other and this was who pressed mute um co-marcus cool